Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said that US President Donald Trump will fail in his confrontation with Iran just like Iraq Saddam Hussein. Tensions have ramped up between two countries after Trump withdrew from a landmark multilateral nuclear deal in May and reimposed sanctions on the Islamic Republic last month. The Trump administration told a federal court that its decision to revoke war permits to H-4 visas holders who are primarily spouses of H-1B foreign guest workers is expected within the next three months. The Department of Homeland Security in its latest court filing told the U.S. District Court in District of Columbia. China's foreign ministry said that it strongly urged the United States to withdraw sanctions on the Chinese military after Trump administration imposed the penalties for buying fighter jets and missile systems from Russia. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said that U.S. is working to set up the second summit between President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, but there is still a work to do to make sure conditions are right. President Donald Trump boosted the chances of a U.S. government shutdown when he savaged a ridiculous spending bill that lawmakers from both parties had hoped would avert a standoff. Trump tweeted, I want to know where is the money for border security and the wall in this ridiculous spending bill and where it will come from after the midterms. Candidates make their pitch to young voters at Concordia University. Early voting is now open in the province and election day is on Monday, October 1. Three people were arrested during a search near Merselin and over 7,000 marijuana plant was seized by officer. A second search was conducted by the RCMP emergency response team in Merselin, whereby various banks and phone records and a laptop were seized. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau looked upon former astronaut and Governor General designate Julie Petty. The federal government was scrambling to organize a public ceremony where royal assent would be granted to a bill fulfilling one of the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau landmark election promises the legalization of marijuana. Cubic Premier Philippe Collard announced that he will suspend his campaign so he can head to the Gatineau and visit area damaged by a severe storm asked earlier. A tornado damaged car and building in Gatineau caused severe damage in the eastern Ontario town of Jen Robin on Friday evening. Those who had been in the middle of it, other who had captured dramatic shots from the safer distance, began to post their photos and video of the dramatic events. Vehicle flattened by fallen trees, homes with roof ripped off, toppled hydro poles and power lines. There was a steady stream of powerful images. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can get latest videos and this is absolutely free.